I'm MJ Marfori, and this is Celebrity Top 10. We're counting out today's juiciest stories from the celebrity world, local man o international. Well, without further ado, let's start with today's number 10. All right, we're going to give you Mikey Busta's news as he wraps his first acting role in Hollywood. Social media personality Mikey Bustos announced that he just wrapped up a shooting for his acting role in Hollywood. He said that he never imagined this day. And of course, that is his dream as he secretly has been hoping for it since he was a kid. Someone believed in him and his heart is grateful. He did add that he worked with incredible human beings that he met on set. Sino sino kaya yun? But anyway, Mikey is known for creating fun videos on YouTube and other social media platforms. Let's see how his acting goes. All right. Bill Cosby, yes, he plans to go on tour. Yep, the comedian opened up about his top this topic on a radio interview, WGH Talk with Scott Spears. He immediately said he when yes, when he asked about the possibility of having a tour again, he said that he had so much fun to be has in storytelling and that he does want to do this. Bill was convi- convicted back in 2018 for criminal sex assault charges and he was released in 2021 after the state Supreme Court overturned the conviction. Let's see how this one will be perceived by the public. All right, there are the, the MMFF belatedly awards special jury prize. So this is what happened with that. The Metro Manila Film Fest special jury prize for ensemble performance was belatedly conferred to Mama Sapano. Now it can be told yesterday. So bakit nga ba late? MMFF organizer said there was a technical glitch during the Gabi ng Parangal last Tuesday. So the special jury prize was given to Mama Sapano del effective daw yung ensemble acting nila in portraying heroism and valor for Filipinos in the fight against terrorism. All right, so Family Matters is one of the biggest box office hits in this uh, year's MMFF and there are two actresses who are airing their dismay about the results of the awards night and it is Nikki Valdez and Agot Isidro. Two of the lead stars of the Metro Manila Film Festival entry in Family Matters went to social media to share their thoughts after their movie failed to clinch some awards. Despite the good reviews from netizens and critics, the movie was not nominated for Best Picture and some of the stars did not win any acting awards. It only won the Gat Puno Antonio J. Villegas Award. So Ago tweeted that she was feeling slightly disappointed that some aspects of the film were not recognized. However, she felt relief from the message of support that they are getting after watching their film and that they are are already a winner in that aspect. Nikki Valdez also shared the same thoughts and yes, she thanked the public for the support and good reviews. What is important is people go to the cinemas and catch their film. All the eight entries for the Metro Manila Film Festival as we are really recovering the, from the pandemic and it is such a nice thing to see everyone in the showbiz industry uniting for a common purpose, which is of course the revival of Cinema View. <laughs> no, no. The revival of Cinema Viewing, that was what I was saying. All right, some concert news for you. Kalibat ka na mga concert natin this time. It's going to be Treasure. Ding, ding, ding. Yep, Treasure Makers. That's what they call their fans. YG's Treasure is set to return to the Philippines at this time for a solo concert. The Hello World Tour with Choi Yun Suk, Ji Hoon, Yoshi, Jung Kyu, Yoon Jae Hyuk, Asahi, Do Young, Haruto, Park Jong Woo, and So Jung Wan in Manila is scheduled on April 15 at the Mall of Asia Arena. Prior to that, the group will be making stops in Taipei, Kuala Lumpur, Jakarta, Bangkok, and Singapore. Treasure will also make a stop in Macau. Kasinga! Abangan ang ticket and seat plan details. The group has previously reported and performed on the Philippine stage during the K-pop Masters in Manila back in July with Bam Bam and Jason Wang. Did you remember that? Were you one of the audience in that? Well, that is that. Finally, we've been hearing it. 
already. So Chelsea Handler finally opened up about the split with Jokoy. So in her interview with Brooke Shields podcast, and now that Chelsea shared that she and Jokoy broke up because of behaviors they just couldn't agree on. <laughs> Chelsea lately hosted host also said she feels as if She's abandoning herself in the relationship. She did admit that the breakup has been painful because she had wanted to be a forever relationship. At the moment, she said she doesn't have the strength and the will to be friends with him, although she's open for it. Well, praying for healing, Chelsea, and of course, that you meet eye to eye. Well, Bibi Gandang Hari bonds with Robin Padilla after the comeback in the Metro Manila Film Festival red carpet. As the host of the Gabi na Parangal, uh, Bibi Gandang Hari ma- makes netizens go aww in her latest IG video featuring brother Robin. Set up ng brutal fight and yes, the good senator was there as well as their mom. Eva Carino. In the caption, Bibi said that she really prayed for this homecoming and that this precious time with family cannot be replaced with the biggest or most expensive gift. And I'm sure we could all agree to that. All right, before we move on, guess what? We're down to our top three stories. You want to see? You want to see what it is? Well, for number three, we're going to talk about the sighting of Joshua Garcia and Bella Racellis. Single pa rin ba talaga? Number two, would you try this? Hot topic of face tattoo ni Nadine Lustre sa bagabi ng parangal. If you want to see the close-up on that, I have that on my TikTok. It's MJ Marfori. And for popsters, we have an alert for you for number one. Sarah Hirolimo is releasing another new song. Viral na nga yung dati dati dance eh. Dati dati. Before our reveal, we're gonna read up to you some celebrity billboard because it's day three na ng sim registration. Kasama ka na ba doon? Sa nagpo-post ng congratulations on your sim registration sa social media. For those who haven't yet, we're flashing now the QR code for you to be able to register your sims. You now have 177 days to do it. Pero... Eto naman, try nyo pa rin dahil mahirap ma-deactivate. O, oh, chinichika ko na yan sa inyo, ha? Ayan. At eto na rin si Melee Cantiveros receives diamond ring from her husband, Jason Francisco. Na oh. A simple day turned into a shining, shimmering moment. Literally, as Melee Cantiveros received a massive diamond ring from her husband, Jason Francisco. Siyempre, happy wife, happy life. And now, eto na yung top three. Bella Rosellas and Joshua Garcia is together in Japan? That is a question mark. After seeing him in the Eraserheads concert with Bella Rosellas, there seems to be a strong romance between the two. Continuing, Bella and Joshua were spotted together in Japan as noticed by Eagle Eye netizens and fans of the two stars. The, the two sparked rumors as fans noticed that they are enjoying their vacation in Japan. Although they were posting separate photos in their IG, fans and netizens were quick to see the puzzle that the two are just in one place. Let's see if they will have a photo together soon. Baka naman New Year reveal yan. Di ba usually yung reveal yung mga celebrity pag New Year? Abangan nyo na lang. Hot, hot trend coming in for you for the new year. Nadine's the leader face tattoo. Sobrang hot topic yung get up ni Nadine Lusa during the Metro Manila Film Festival, Gabi ng Parangal. She delivered in her brown and gold dress and accessories, but here's more that netizens, well, I did notice it first. Her artificial freckles that were actually a golden face tattoo with letters of the word to leader. <laughs> Would you try something similar? Well, share it with me on one of my socials. It's MJ Marfori all across or here because we are also on YouTube and Facebook. One News. I want to see it, guys. I want to see it. It's 2023. Go bold or go home. All right, for the pop star, Sara Hieronimo teases new single. She is, is in the mood for new projects. The pop star royalty will be releasing a new single, teased by Viva, um, amid the success of her previous release, as well as a dance challenge for Daddy Daddy. It seems like there's no stopping Sarah G from making another pasabog. Catch her latest single, and here's a teaser. <laughs> I hope 
hope na gusto niyo yon, guys. Three more days we celebrate the new year. I hope you're having a great uh Twixmas. Yes, that's what you call Christmas to New Year. This gap is so important for the family. Before we end, we have a reminder for everybody. Maraming may COVID ngayon, maraming may sakit. Keep your immunity up. That's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow, mga kapatid. Makalis na makikound up 445. One News, One PH, Radio 5, 92.3 News FM. For everybody listening to us on the road and over the airwaves, thank you, thank you so much. I love you guys. Ta-ta! I'll see you tomorrow. This is Celebrity Top 10.